So in our videos today, we are going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club Part 11. And oh, okay, it was lagging for a second. But part 11, and um, y'all probably don't hear the music, but I do. It is extremely loud and hurt. It hurts a lot. I feel like, like I, like, I have to put it all the way up so y'all can actually hear the music. Which I'm just trying to turn it down a little bit. Just turn it down a little bit. Just Okay, no. Okay, I can hear it. Okay, so, uh, we who are we going to go help? I can't help Sayori because she's with Monarchy, so I'm going to go with Saki. Oh, make it sound fun. Could be fun. Yeah. You make it sound like a lot of work, so she probably used to people. Don't worry. Make it ton of fun. You would definitely agree. Yeah, definitely go. You were saying that. That's because. Bitches be crazy. Never mind, okay. Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to doing this. That's good. Yuri's being melodramatic is a little hard to not feel bad. That's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes. Anything except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Nordic? Me? Eh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it turned out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still suking. Yeah, I mean, it's not the bit of doing it. I think that Yuri I appreciate it in China. I have to come with something you forward to do, and then nobody is offering to help. Uh. Look, go start and put your head on your shoulder, Yuri. We're the most talented one here, and you're going to help make the event a lot more funner and welcoming. Oh, so nice. I mean, the cupcakes would probably help out too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. It's important for the way people feel during the performance. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little bit more credit. Please your hand and turns around to face the other direction. Yeah. Can't really mean that, did you? Hmm. Not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monarchy and I are, are taken aback by Nasaki's words. I give all people to being such encouraging people, but I begin to understand. I sound like Sayori. Yeah, it worked perfectly. I could tell she tried to say something Sayori would say at this time like this. It always helps everyone smiles. So could, and oh my gosh, this music is fucking healing me. I can barely hear my own voice. I'm just gonna take this off. Anyway, I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm gonna do my best. And all of us are gonna make it really great. Yeah, I'm gonna make you a bit smaller. All of us are gonna make it a bit great. No, one sec, one, one sec, guys, one sec. How do I? Huh. Yeah. Yeah. One sec. Guys, I wanna save something. I'm a bit annoyed right now. One second. I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. Um, And it didn't go full screen. Fuck. Then, there's nothing more for today. Sorry, I want to try and make this go full screen. Can I make this so I go full screen or something? No, I can't. Damn. So, I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. Really got to do any reading today, so fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Fun. I'm gonna pack up the things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri on the door so as they trap between each other. Now, where are you going? Uh. So I can figure out our plans for this weekend. We really would have got a home when I say game with the continent. Oh, that's real. No idea how they. how that slipped my mind. Please, I think I stopped you. Give you my number, okay? Better not make you weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. <laughs> Gives me your number. Okay. Coming over on Sunday. I'll be mean, all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house. Oh yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured out that since I'm the only one I'm the happy I'll be going to your house. Yeah, why? Like I got have a my dad would kill me. Willy. It's kinda strict if you ask me. How, how do you think I feel? I don't, can't do anything with my dad since home. I just need to complain. You have each other's number now. That's all I need from you. 
There's a text your name's coming over. Alright, bye bye me. Yeah. Wouldn't well, I show you why I love Becky so much? Cool. Oh, didn't you say something you're gonna give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like that. Like, in front of everyone. I was, I was looking forward to this. Wait, like, really? Oh, kind of. I just, just got never got to bake someone else before. It's all it is, so. Alright, I did it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Hmm. Bitch, you crazy. Never mind. Can't believe this. She's gonna be coming over to my house on Sunday. Glad you shoots through the roof. I quit late, though. Wait, I can't actually. I never had a girlfriend before. Even though I got pretty used to hunting her at this point. Don't tell you what might happen outside of school. I could do it. <laughs> More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. It's, it's gonna have to make something happen between us. Or is it too early with that? Only time to tell. Until then, I won't be able to t t take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. Increasingly excited about not coming visit. I keep telling myself there's no way to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I can't relate. I wonder if she acts any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. The other one after exchanging numbers, she double check, but it turned into a conversation. She had a different personality when it's turned kind of emojis and cute language. I also like she also really likes playing about something, but I kinda of saw that one coming. Side. I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. I'm sorry. That's my lagging, bitch. I cannot move my phone because it started lagging. Like, it started lagging a lot, so see. I haven't heard something from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. I can text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my head. So I said, what Monarchy said, is it really okay if she might need me? Sorry, before the last time I'm going to tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. So now I come to her before entering it myself. Damn, you should play. So I don't know we made a habit of simply entering each other's house like we're a family. House is quiet. So I'm going to sit anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. So it's already strange of her not to want to greet me. To the bathroom, I head to the bedroom where I finally found her. Say, all right. Hi, Nordic. I sit in her room. Try to force his smile, but he's tell her that she's different. You know, silence between us. Can't run like this in a while, have you? Eh, I guess you're right. I, it has been a long time. No much of change, has it? Messy as it's always been. Mr. of animal and well dirt and wild decorations as she had there for years now. Mm hmm. Come over more often, I want to be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. And how can you want to come over today? Cause she seen now. Yeah, but wait. How do you know that? So he had already left by the time. Side so asked me. Monica told me it's only natural to keep me warm by the festival parties, right? Oh, that's real. What about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. You didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Saki then. Yep. More silence between us. Stares in the random direction. Everything about her behavior was really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just want to see how you were doing. Well, after you left on Friday, and something's won, you can't hide it from me. I knew you too well. I wish I could have a relationship like that. I keep realizing how fucking lonely I am. I know you too well, so... Sorry, smile, shaking her head. Something no good, Nordic. Huh? Why can't it be like it have always been? It's all my fault. If I didn't get so weak, I think it's best my feelings. You make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have came over. You wouldn't have ever think about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? You ain't punished for being so selfish. What the fuck is this? I think that's why the world decides to have you come over today. He wants to try. <laughs> Say, alright. I grabbed her by the shoulders. What on the earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me any anything. Already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. 
Mm. Yeah. So he gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Nordic, but you're on. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. Seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? Mm. You really just you want to make me say, aren't you, Nordic? I guess I have no choice this time. Thing is, I have really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? I think I'm late to school every day. Cause most days I can't find a to get out of bed. What is it that they're doing when I fully know how? <sighs> I can relate. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy care into waste by having them spend time on me? That's what it feels like. I just want to make everyone happy. Not anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. How to spawn. Why, sorry? Why is that you never told me about this? Feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Is it, if I knew I would have done anything I could, I could to support you. There's only so much I could do. Hard to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm, I'm your friend. All you, all you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Nordic. You think I didn't tell you. If I told you, then you would have wasted effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I didn't want to be cared about. They were sweet, but people tried to care about me. I feel nice sometimes. It was like a bad swing to my head. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with anyone else. I want to be happy together is the best thing for me. Then I discard something else too. In the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. That's why like, the world just wants to torture me. If the past leads to nothing but hurt. Eh, you're right. That I don't understand. I understand your feelings at all, sorry. But I, I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Nordic. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could help could be but I was selfish. I finally show you what a horrible person I am. His face. I made I made you try in their club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting a way that I couldn't understand. Night came in and I made you hurt too. I was weak and selfish. That's all I am. That's why I'm gonna accept these punishment. They deserve every last one. Nordic, sorry, so selfish, I'm really happy they convinced me to join the club. Make it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with anyone else, then that's just a bonus. Please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Nordic, is it hard to me back? Despite my arms being wrapped around her, so her arms being side, she starts throwing me next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Nordic barely manages to speak between her sobs. I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is to know that I care. If you have to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. That needs to change. I make these feelings go away. Anything that you need me to do, you better tell me. I'd get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, Sarah so finally puts her arm on me in a turn. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Nordic. I'm not feeling nothing when I'm feeling pain. But, your lips are so warm. That's really scary, too. That's me, girl. But she does, so I let her go as well. Well, it's tomorrow? Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. It's what I want. I promise. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Lips her cheap eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Well, all days has been one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel? No, don't. Please don't. Do that and I'll, I really want to forgive you. But it's almost time for nice to meet me at my house. At the very least, you want to come along and help out? It'd be fun. Flash so Ray shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't think that'll be good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. See you tomorrow, okay? All right. 
I look forward to it. Say goodbye, sorry, and exit her house. On the way, I find myself still feeling on knees, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when it's about to come over. So sorry, is why I shouldn't be worried too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. Focus on what's ahead of me. She comes back at home, waiting to say why. For what I know, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. I'm going to let her in. And I am going to save right now. Please like and subscribe. Nordic Gable here. And we're out. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.